Hey everybody, how's it going? So in this video, I am going to talk about playing cards. Uh, every now and then I get the question, you know, what is your favorite deck of cards? And uh, where is the best place to buy playing cards? So in this video, I'm going to go over my top five list on my favorite decks of cards. And uh, I'll give you just a quick glimpse at what those cards look like as well. Uh, but first, let's talk about the where question. So where is the best place to buy playing cards? Well, uh, if you live in the States, then the most convenient place is just going to be your local stores. So your Walmart, your Targets, Walgreens, those kinds of places, they're always going to carry the standard decks of cards. So cards like bees, bicycles, uh, aviators, studs, those kinds of things. And uh, those are all really, really good cards. They're all made by the U.S. Playing Card Company, and they all handle very well. They're high quality, and they're going to last a long time if you take care of them. All right, so that's, that's always a good way to go. Now, if you're looking for the more custom decks, the fancier decks of cards, then you're pretty much going to have to go online. And there's quite a few sites out there that, that sell these, these decks. Uh, my favorite happens to be eBay. Okay, So on eBay, you have uh, quite a few top-rated sellers who, who sell practically any deck you can possibly imagine. And the reason I prefer eBay over any other site is uh, for, a few, for a few reasons. Uh, the first is the shipping costs are almost always less. Okay, and sometimes significantly less. All right, so that's that's a huge advantage right there. The other thing is on eBay, you can buy decks from different producers at the same time. So you only have to pay for shipping once. All right, so what I mean by that is on eBay, you can buy a deck from Dan and Dave, and you can buy a deck from Illusionist in the same shopping cart. Okay, so you know you don't have to pay for shipping twice there. And, and that's another big advantage. So I actually, uh, to make it easier to, to shop for cards on eBay, I set up a page on my website. It's uh, 52cards.com slash store. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box down below for you to check out. And basically this page, it, it pulls all of the latest playing card listings from eBay and displays them on one convenient page. And it, it's really nice because you can filter and sort the, the, the listings by you know, price and by date and all that kind of thing, all those kinds of things. So basically, it makes it shopping for cards on eBay a lot easier. And um, you can also compare prices from different sellers just to make sure you get the best deal that way. So you can check that out. I'll put a link in the description box down below. I think, um, I think that pretty much covers the, the where question. Let's, let's start with the top five list. Okay. Now, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, this is my top five favorite cards list at the moment. It could be different next year. It could be different tomorrow. Okay. So at the moment, here, here are my top five favorite cards. And um, what I'm judging these cards on are two main categories, handling and then aesthetics and design, okay? So handling, uh, the handling on all of these decks is gonna be good. If it's in the top five list, handling is gonna be good. So I'm gonna just focus on um, the design aspect during this short commentary of the top five list, all right? So number five. Uh, number five, I actually don't have with me. I recently moved to a new city, and I forgot to bring uh, my Dragonbacks, which is number five. I'll put a picture up uh, so you can see what the Dragonbacks look like, if you don't know. The reason I like this deck so much is, uh, firstly, the, the, the design, the back design is great. I like how much color there is in there. I, I, I like, uh, you know, just how, how clean it looks and how artistic it looks. Uh, the other main reason is because of the availability. So the Dragonbacks are actually now being sold at Targets. So you can go to your local Target and just pick up a Dragonback. You don't need to order these online. And that's that's a huge advantage for me. Uh, these days it comes in three colors. It comes in the red, the, the blue, and the gold. The blue is no good. I, I don't like the blue very much at all. It just looks too crazy for me. They even made the faces blue. And that's just, that's just wrong, in my opinion. Uh, but I really like the red, and I really like the gold. All right, so that's number five. Number four is the vintage plaid decks from Dan and Dave. Okay, so I knew I wanted to feature at least one borderless deck in the top five, and this is by far my favorite borderless deck. It's just, this deck is full of class, very elegant. Uh, it comes in two colors, a, a blue and a red. So I'll show you each of those. I love this back design, it's great. Just very simple, but it just uh, it comes off very well. Um, the fans look really nice in it. You know, you'll notice with borderless uh, cards, you can sometimes get really cool patterns with the fans. And um, 
as far as borderless cards go, uh, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but there are several pretty cool advantages um, when it comes to certain gambling slides. The, the moves are shaded better, but we can talk about that in a separate video. Uh, the faces uh, are slightly customized, which I, which I like. The, the red cards, it's, it's like a brighter shade of red. It's almost like an orange. Okay, and that's that's a nice touch. The Ace of Spade. Um, oh, that's yeah. You got some buck reindeers with a with a card reveal there. That's kind of neat. The Ace of Spades is um, super bare bones, but it works. I really like this. Look how simple that is. All right. So that's that's number four. Let me show you uh, the the blue one real quick as well. Oh, that's strange. I that was in the wrong box. Okay, but there's the blue back design. So I like both of them a lot. Um, I, I would probably lean towards the red one. It just pops a little bit more. But uh, both of them are really nice. So vintage plaid decks coming in at number four. All right. So let's move on to number three, which is the Monarchs from uh, 311. Okay. Now this deck I picked uh, solely because of the back design. This is my kind of back design right here. Take a look at that. It's simple, but it's not too simple. I love the shade of blue that they use. It's very uh, professional. I, I don't know if that's the right word to use, but very uh, sophisticated. Um, the artwork is just great. I, I, I think they did a really great job on this back design. All right. Uh, I guess my only complaint for this deck is that um, they didn't really do much with the faces at all. The faces are pretty much just like any other deck, um, any standard deck. Uh, I guess, th I think it did have a, a customized Ace of Spades, uh, but that's that's nothing special. All right, uh, but for me, the back design I liked so much that it bumped it into the top five list for me. All right, so that's number three, that's the Monarchs. Number two is another deck from Theory 11, it's the Jack deck. All right, now the first thing you gotta notice about this deck is the box. I normally don't care about boxes all that much, but this is a, a really nice box. Take a look at that. It's got that shimmer to it, it's got some embossing, uh, just really great design all around. Um, the paper is different. There's something about it, it's, uh, it's like more dry than your average paper. I don't know if that's the best way to explain it. You kind of have to touch it. To, to see what I'm talking about. But anyways, let's move on to the back design. I love the color, that light sky blue kind of color. It's got metallic ink, so it shimmers. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the branding, but in this case, I guess I don't mind so much because it is kind of playing card related, Jack, Ace, Queen, King. Um, so it works, it's, it's a nice, nice back design. Uh, but what really sells this deck is the faces actually. The faces are very custom. All right, so take a look at these court cards. How cool is that? It's a, it, it is a simplified court design, but they introduced a lot of color into it and gave it a lot of swag, you could say. Uh, I, I think this was the first deck that used this kind of simplif simplified borderless court design, and then other decks picked it up, like the, the Sentinels and maybe a few other decks. But uh, take a look how unique these uh, court cards are. The king is holding a, a bottle of wine. It just comes off really well. And then uh, the Ace of Spades is also pretty neat. Play a little, all right? And, uh, oh, the other nice thing that they did is, uh, it's just a minor detail. The the pips, you know, half is red and half is a bit of a darker shade of red. You know, just a, just a little nice touch that they add. Um, there's a lot of design thought that went into this deck and I really appreciate that. So that's the Jack deck coming in at number two. And number one is the Split Spades. I'm sure a lot of you saw this coming. So this was uh, the first deck produced by David Blaine and his team. Uh, this is actually the Lions edition, so I guess not technically the first, but you know what I mean. And uh, they absolutely killed it. The back design is the greatest back design of all time. I'm declaring it. Okay, take a look at that. So from a distance, you know, it looks very uh, clean, very organized. Um, you know, just just an overall really great back design. And, it, and then as you bring it closer, 
you start to notice more and more things. I mean, it's one of those back designs that you can look at for like an hour and then you, you find new things. Okay, so there's a whole lot of imagery going on in there. Just really, really great artwork. Okay, I gotta give major props to, to the designer. All right, and uh, a few other great things about this deck. The, the faces are slightly customized. Uh, oh, take a look at the Ace of Spades. Also, uh, one of my favorite Ace of Spades. It's, you got that dual image going on there, kind of an optical illusion. Really, really cool. The faces are slightly customized on the court cards. Apparently, they resemble uh, people from uh, David Blaine's personal life or something. When you open this deck for the first time, it, the new deck order is actually in the Monica stack. That's a nice touch. Um, and then another advantage of this deck is that they now produce, or they did produce these decks in gimmicked versions. So I think uh, they had uh, a stripper version, uh, a Svengali version, and then they also had a mark deck for the same back design. And that's great. If you like to use uh, gimmick decks, then you can interchange between a clean deck and a gimmick deck more easily. All right, so that is number one, the split spades decks. And that uh, concludes the, the top five list. I hope uh, this video was informative. Um, I, I like to think that I have a good taste in playing cards. Maybe you disagree, but these are just uh, <laughs> my picks. All right, so I, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.